Hey, this is Merc Music, and this is basic Pro Tools instructions and how to use Pro Tools. It's very simple, even though there's a lot of stuff, but I'm going to explain some of the easy things, alright? Now, the first thing you'll see is the file, right? And when you first start up Pro Tools, you'll go to File, and you'll click New Session, and Open Session, and all this different stuff, alright? And here's what it looks like from a distance. Now, these three things right here, these are all tracks I created, alright? To create a track, you'll click the track button right here, and you'll click New, and then this will show up, and you can create however many tracks you want, and what kind of track it'll be, depending on what you need, and you'll click the Create button, or Cancel. I'm just going to click Cancel, because I have my tracks, alright? Now, for the tracks, you'll have this R button right here, right? That's the track record. So, I've recorded this section, right? And, and able to do that, you have to click the record button and it'll record this on that track. And then, to record, you'll hit this red button right here. And then it will start the recording. Well, it won't start the recording until you hit the space bar. The space bar is how you'll start the recording. That just allows the record to start, right? and that allows the track, the specific track, to be recorded. So if I want to record it here, I'll click that button too. Right? Then you have, for playback, when you're listening, you have the S button, which is solo. That'll mute these two tracks, and then it'll just play this one track. Right? Then you have the mute button, which will mute a specific track. And you can mute all the tracks if you want to, or just specific ones, whatever you need. Then, right under these three buttons, you have the waveform button, all right? You can also change it into volume, which will allow you to control the volume level. You bring it up and down. You have the mute, which will just mute the track. And you have the panning button, which will play it. If you bring it up, it'll play on the left speaker, and it'll show you how far you're bringing it up. All right, then you can bring it back to the middle. And bring that line down, we'll take it to the right side. All right, and try to get it back level at zero. It is really hard to get it back to zero. Alright, whatever. Alright, I got it. Alright, waveform. That's what you want to keep it on most of the time. Alright? Then you have your control buttons right here. Alright? This is the selector. And the three button selector. It'll choose these three for you by default. Um, this is the grabber tool, which allows you to move tracks around like this. And you can bring it to a certain spot whenever you need to move it but it's best to keep it on three so that way when you're editing it like this allows you to trim it and I do have some extra noise here I guess I'm going to trim that off and to select it you can either highlight a certain portion or you can just double tap it but um, one thing that's also important is your fading right so I'm going to highlight this section right now to get the that part um, faded, you can either go up here and change it, or you can do the easiest way, and that's to hit the control button and the F button, right? That's control, that's control fade. You click that, it'll show up with this fade, and it'll have all kinds of different things. It'll have the standard, the S curve, all right? I'm just going to click OK, and it'll fade that track, all right? Then when it's over here, it'll show a little line as to where it was faded. And then you'll have your track. Alright, I'm going to play that. So you'll, you'll be able to hear the difference because the volume will start to come in. Whoa. I also have to restart it from the beginning. Very simple stuff right here. Um, that's clean. It doesn't have any delay or anything. I will show you how to um, change your levels though and stuff. Okay, so we have oh the flanger is really easy. Uh, I'll have to click out of this. All right, for that you'll go to Audio Suite and you'll click Modulation and it'll show flanger. And you have all kinds of different things. And I'm just going to do the basic, I'm just going to process it. 
Yeah, you gotta select your audio first too. Wow, I feel pretty stupid for not doing that. I will highlight the whole section, click audio suite, go to modulation, flanger, and I'll process it now. And it's a small track, so it goes by pretty fast. And just click out. And now I can play it, and it'll have the flanger sound. Really simple. Now, all I have to do is click Control Z, and you'll undo that, and then it'll go back to this. I haven't really gotten my delay working, but. Oh, shoot, my finger's in the way. I got Audio Suite. Um, and it'll go to delay and you'll have three different kinds. You also have reverb. It's really not that hard. Just a lot of messing around will help you get it. And then you also have your EQ. So if you have like the bass and your amp turned up really loud, you'll go to is this and you'll take this little dot on the EQ and you'll drag it down. That'll lower the level in the bass area and then if it's too high pitched, you can lower it up here. All right? And you also have your input level which will if you bring it over, it'll lower it and can raise it, depending on, well, that's screwed up, but whatever. Uh, that'll allow you to change the levels and whatever panning you need to do. You can also copy and paste tracks in case you need, need to put it on like a separate thing. So like, let's say I want to put it right here and whatever. Then you also have um, looping. The looping is pretty important and it's not that hard. All right under, when you right click, it'll say loop. And then you can create the number of loops, and then it'll tell you how long it is. You'll click OK, and it'll come up with all these different things. And that arrow will signify that it is looped. All right, so there's all the loops on track two. I just undid them. And that's it. If you need anything else, um, I can always post a second video. And this is Pro Tool 7 LE. And that's it. Subscribe, and I'll make more.